Me too. Hey, look up there. Yeah. <laughs> 
we're starting a fight. <laughs> Who gets stuck with all the bad luck? No one <laughs> but Donald Duck. Oh, 
Why did I put those doggone matches? That's wonderful.
sure I heard something crackling. Well, let me not. I don't know. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Ah! 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 Ah!
right. Who gets stuck with all the bad luck? No one but Donald Duck. Have you ever heard of a boodle beetle? Well, confidentially, neither have we. But it seems that long ago, these little creatures were plentiful. But because of an inborn love for travel and adventure, the boodle beetle is now a rare little bug. The bug collector, er, <clears throat> the entomologist, regards this little bug as a prize for his collection. Going somewhere, Sonny? Well, I wouldn't be in too much of a hurry if I were you. There's danger lurking out in them woods. And you're just setting yourself for a heap of trouble. You know, there's not many of us boodles left. And it's just because too many of them have set out across that stream and never come back. And here you go, a setting your cap for the same medicine. Sit down, Sonny, and let me tell you a story. When I was a young pup and full of vinegar, <laughs> just like yourself, I had ideas of adventure, too. So, I packed my bag and said goodbye to my home. <laughs> I'm a little funny about this sentimental stuff. And set out for what was going to be the doggondest adventure. I'll have to admit, it was pretty fascinating at first. anything like this happen. Uh-oh. What's this? Big, tall things that disappear in the sky. Phew. A bug sure has to be careful when he's out looking for adventure. But unknown to me at the time, there was lurking in the forest a horrible monster. What's that now? Why, why? It's not such a bad one. Oh, so I give up. Well, I guess I must have walked hundreds of miles that first day. I was just picking them up and laying them down. I just didn't feel up to it. So I thought I'd lay down for a little shut-eye and tackle it in the morning. Well, suddenly, I had the feeling I wasn't alone. And there, on top of the mountain, I saw a most amazing thing. Well, being a curious little fellow, I decided to investigate. And there it was. A horrible monster, millions of feet high. I sneaked out to get a better look, and suddenly, it moved. I looked again. Two hideous eyes glared at me. A bigger bigger. It's him. Hello! I can't get him. Come on, Snowflap. Let's get rest of the time. <laughs> oh, no, you don't swing on this one. You don't want to get around. Come on, take care, you don't. So, there I was, headed for I don't know what. It was simply terrifying. I tried again and again to escape, but it was no use. If only I had listened to Mama. 
I cared what folks thought about the sentimental stuff? <laughs> no, siree. So you see, Sonny, home isn't such a bad place after all. <laughs> uh, I was just thinking. For all I know, that monster may be looking for me yet. your physical examination. Oh, fool. That's a sludge. Okay, buddy. Through that door. And this green one. 
Three quarters. Test. Fourteen and a half. Sleeve length. Seventeen and three quarters.
It's better than it's ever been before. The sergeant isn't tough anymore. He's careful not to bore you. Just tell him when you're feeling spuds and he will feel them for you. For the army, not the army anymore. No, the army.